It's your girl, Samara from Easy Pistons. Um, if you have not followed my Facebook group, you can go ahead and follow it with the link below. Um, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so um, today we're going to be talking about the Money and Thermal Label Printer. As you can see, I have the pink one um, just because it's really cute. Um, I ordered mine off of Amazon and they have the blue and white one um, or you get it off the website, but I think Amazon, you know, it's pretty good and it works very well. So just to get started, I wanted to go ahead and make a video about how to actually load this for the Windows users because I mean, every video is for the Mac users. And I mean, I have everything Mac, everything well apple <laughs> outside of the macbook i can't really use those softwares with a lot of stuff that i'm doing so i have hp and i'm always in team hp but let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that i wanted to show you guys outside of this i went ahead and box unboxed it i put mine together i mean super sickle you just go ahead and um put the cords in the machine it's gonna come with a USB, which will download the software on your computer as well. And you know, you can use this for your shipping labels, the four by six labels. And there's a great deal on Amazon. It's like 500 labels for like $19, something like that. And most of them are usually compatible. Outside of that, these are also on, on Amazon, which is the rose. I have yellow, um, white, right here i have the pink one is already loaded so i'm just going to keep that there and i have the green i mean they have blue they have all types of different colors on amazon and i actually said that i was going to order some blue ones and i was going to order the sticker ones now the ones that we're talking about obviously are the rectangle ones um let me just show you a few that i already have done but i am going to walk you through the process of how to um go ahead and load it for the windows computers now this is something that i did and i mean it prints out very vibrant and you know you don't have to have um any ink or anything and it just prints out very vibrant and i think that it's addicting <laughs> like you're not gonna want to stop you're literally gonna want to make a label for everything and as you can see on this one it says fragile um protect our packages what does that mean to you protect our packages I went ahead and put my QR code on there because, you know, the delivery people might scan it. And that's a good idea because guess what? You can put it on your packages. You can put it on your products. You can put it on anything. And the QR code is going to go straight to your website. Uh, so that's pretty good. So what we're going to do is, um, let me go ahead and tear this one off. I made this one also and it says please do not bend thank you so much and it fits perfectly with this um this label so where i design my label at is canva as you can know Cam as you know canva can be used for a ton of different things um now i go to canva i have the the version that is um the one you pay for and here it is here hold on one second let me make sure that it's not backwards let me turn it around all right so canva is here go to custom size 2.17 by 1.26 inch is the size that you need to do in order for it to match up correctly um and then it's going to give you this blank um label here and you could pretty much design it how you want but i'm going to go to one that i've already created and recreate it right there make sure that you make a copy so that you don't lose the one that you already made so i'm in here and i'm just going to change up the words just a little bit and you just delete it and also, if you haven't known um, on Canva, you could download your own fonts on there as well. So I'm just going to put, let me see what I'm gonna put on here. Let's say what's inside will make you happy. 
And I just went to Elements to the left over there and added those packages if you're wondering where I got the outline from. You can also search on Google. I mean, it's really easy as far as finding um, an image that you can use. And don't forget that the thermal printer only prints out black. So we're going to go ahead and download it. I'm on my iPad on that part. So download the PDF print version and um, Okay, y'all, sorry about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this from my computer. I tried to do a screen share, but it didn't work. So I'm just not even gonna worry about it. We're gonna download it. Make sure that you download a PDF print um, just so that you can get the best quality. You, you can also download your PNG print as well, but I print from my PDF print. So I went ahead and downloaded that. Now what you're gonna do is Mine is already set up, but we can go ahead and do it together. But you're gonna pull up your printer. Um, your your printers is what you're gonna pull up. And for mine, let me see, it's go down, it's the one bin, which yours should be the same one. And the way you get there is by searching the search bar for your settings, and then you go to printers and scanners and the mun bin or um, the Rolo is gonna pull up and it should pretty much be the same because I had the Rolo as well. I just wanted the pink, this pink mun, mun bin one. So you're gonna go to manage and you're gonna go to printing properties, sorry, preferences, what am I even looking at? <laughs> printing preferences. <clears throat> and this here is gonna pull up for you. Click page setup and this should pop up. Right here it says new six, which that's the one that I use um, because I, I made it so go to new you'll go to new but right now I'm gonna go to edit so that I can give you exactly what I have on mine all of this stays the same click edit and what I did was um, I pretty much figured out what the um, the width was in this format outside of like the inches and I just played around with it a lot I, wasted a lot of labels but finally got a down pack so what you can do for the width is put in 55 and for the height put in 32 and then you press ok you'll apply it and you press ok now we can go ahead and go to PDF file and we can pull up um, our document so here's mine here and it's on Adobe and we're going to go to file, go to print. This is gonna pull up here. The mun bin is what's here. As you can see, it's that same 2.17 by 1.26 inches, which is perfectly in alignment with that. Um, you're going to, because you saved that other one as the default, it's automatically gonna show that that's your size. And obviously there's a preview there. Now, if you wanted to click properties and say you wanted to change it, you would go to page setup and you can just change it in here to whatever you wanted it to be. As you can see, all of these are all my customs that I was playing around with. Like, okay, I have to figure out what's going on because this is just crazy. So do that, cancel that press print well you can put the copies here how many you want let's just say we're gonna do 10 of those please do not bend thank you so much and I'm gonna just move this here just so you can see it print out press print and voila it's perfect And this isn't even the one that, um, let me see. And it's perfectly on there. Now I'm gonna move this back over to the screen and I'm going to pull up, let's see. I have so many files open, but I just wanted to quickly let y'all see that, you know, so that, um, let me see, download. Because there's literally everybody who has the max and you know we're not we 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 need to figure it out too we want to be able to print labels we we just definitely want to be able to print labels <laughs> so what's this i will make you happy super happy print and it's going to pull up the mun and it's automatically there let's just say we're going to do 
20 of these and it's i mean so many labels on this roll i honestly don't even know how many is on there um so let's print this It's Thank y'all for watching. Here are the labels. And we just did pink because that was the one that was loaded. But I'll see y'all guys later. Go ahead and follow that group on Facebook. And I mean, we talk about everything. Sublimation, vinyl, buttons, anything crafting, resin. Follow 